Jake Castillo, and I want to welcome you to Studio Session, San Antonio's premier music show incorporating live musical performances with HD video and studio quality audio. You're watching Studio Sessions, where today's guests will be the Razor Doves, plus a special interview with Rick Sanford, founding member of Legs Diamond. Stay tuned. <laughs> Razor Dove self-titled EP is available on iTunes, CD Baby, and at Hogwild Records here in San Antonio, Texas. All right, guys, that was an awesome performance. Let's introduce the group, okay? Over Thanks here we got Mike on bass. Yep. Got Chris on lead vocals and guitar. We got Andy on drums, the animal. All right, guys, that was an awesome performance. Can you tell us a little bit about why you chose the name Razor Doves? We were a band for at least three months, maybe four months before we really locked it in, I think. It was, it was a while before we locked in a name. There was some friction between, well, especially you two. Yeah, I mean, the, going... the, the band might have almost broke up before we made a name, <laughs> before we had a name. You to... guys just didn't understand my artistic vision. Yeah, I kind of brought the idea forth because I wanted to kind of show a juxtaposition between something soft and something sharp. You know, you go to Google, type in Razor Doves, all you get's us. So was Razor Doves your, your idea? I brought it, yeah. I'm taking credit. And awesome. I hated it until I, until I really realized that uh, th there's value in having a name that, that's the first thing on, on the Google page. If you, if you pop in a word and, and you're the first thing that shows up every time, um, that seemed value to, valuable to me, so. It also kind of speaks a little bit to, you know, where this band's from, you know, we're a San Antonio band, there's some Texas music in there, and so it kind of, I don't know, it just, it had a kismet to me. Well, you know, uh, for instance, uh, Mohawks, the song is, uh, is, is very dynamic, you know, it's, it's very progressive. Uh, tell me a little bit about the song and the, the meaning behind it. it it's, uh, it's actually kind of a jab at, um, it's kind of a jab at the, the hardcore rock and rollers, and, and I mean I mean that in the in the aesthetic sense, the guys with the, the tattoos all down their neck and 
and the you know the rings in their nose and the, it's just kind of jab of fun at them um, just kind of in a way just saying that I can be rock and roll too without all that stuff mohawks get results <laughs> and do they you know that's kind of what I was creating music I think is is the real force behind us is um, uh, we don't we don't have like uh, worked out stage antics on stage. We don't plan things in the way we move. We don't really plan any of that. Um, it it kind of all just comes out from our heart and our love for music. And um, when we get together and rehearse, it's it's always music's the very first thing we talk about. Tell me about how the Razor Doves formed. Now um, I know you guys, and uh, one of you is a native San Antonian. That's me. And the other two are not, but you guys are still San Antonio's own. You know, we claim you, and uh, I, but I want to know how you guys got together. I've played with Mike before in previous bands, so I've known him. He's one of my favorite bass players. Me and him were able to lock in. So right away, you know, it was it was a no-brainer. And actually, I was playing with another band, and Chris came and audition on guitar. I was a huge fan of him. The other person was not, um, so we just kind of left it at that. A couple weeks later, I got a call from You're Mike. You're a huge fan. I liked. I You're like you. You're a huge you. fan right off the bat. Dude. Of you. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, man. I didn't know it. He also had a man only crush on, on you. Studio sessions do these secrets come That's out. That's right. <laughs> so I got a call from Mike a couple weeks later, and he said, "Hey, I'm jamming with this guy. He knows you." I was just like, "Okay." Well, and then they told me who it was, and. Uh, I was. I jumped at the opportunity. All right, so we're expecting a lot of great things from you guys. In fact, you just finished uh, your self-titled EP, Razor Doves EP, uh, live song. All right, give it up for you <laughs> yes. guys. Yes. Uh, tell us about what's going on with you guys right now. We're constantly playing out, playing all over Texas. Start with San Antonio, work our way out, hit the other cities. You know, Texas is a big state. There's a lot of great markets, a lot of great fans. You know, doesn't really. Yeah, you know, there's no reason to really leave it right now. Tell me about the song you're going to play next for us. It's a, it's a new song, if I'm not mistaken, right? I'm going to call it Anna Cage. And it was inspired by a trip. We did a gig in uh, San Angelo. and um, Played at the Dead Horse in San Angelo. It was a great club. It was an awesome night. Great rockers. And uh, yeah, you know, there was just kind of a, a little bit of a, a muse. But anyway, they had a, they had a cage dancer. And that struck me as, as unique. I've never seen that, especially not at one of my gigs. And um, it, it, it inspired a song. I, I can't explain it. I was in the mood. Awesome. All right, I want to thank you guys for being here. You're watching Studio Sessions with Jake Castillo in a cage by Razor Doves up next. Yeah, everybody good? Everybody speak? Everybody speak.
we've got Rick Sanford from Legs Diamond and Emilio Garza from Wolfpack coming up next. Legs Diamond, formed in 1977 in Los Angeles, California, were a hard-hitting rock band and favorites of legendary DJ Joe Anthony, the Godfather Yanuzi. We had the chance to catch up with Rick Sanford, vocalist and founding member of Legs Diamond, to talk about past glories and future adventures in his life in the rock and roll biz. So I'm sitting here with Rick Sanford, founding member of Legs Diamond. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You know, nationally renowned band, San Antonio favorite. Uh, you know, Rick, it's an honor to be sitting here with you. I just want to want to thank you for coming here today, and I want to ask. No let's problem, talk man. a little bit about uh, San Antonio's heyday. San Antonio is the rock and roll capital of the world. In in our rock and roll heydays with Joe Anthony and Lou Roney, oh, you guys yes, yeah. were a San Antonio favorite and still are. Talk talk to me a little bit about the time that you spent. Uh, how how Joe and Lou helped your career. Um, he used to keep us his little secret so that when uh, other DJs from around the country would call him, because I guess he got quite a name from being and doing what he did. I had the opportunity to uh, to sit and talk with Lou Roney about a week ago. And oh, really? How's Lou doing? I haven't seen him in a long time. He's doing great. Uh, Legs Diamond was one of the topics, you know, and we as, as we were sitting there talking about San Antonio and its heyday, uh, of course, La Semana Alegre comes up. You guys, closing band year after year yeah, I know. uh and in fact uh made a live album there. yep you know sure tell, tell us about it tell us about your experiences at la semana interaction with the san antonio crowd san antonio the, the crowd out here is phenomenal it, it has always been i uh, and i've gone across the not the entire world but i've done enough of it uh and this has got to be one of the greatest crowds that there is you guys are <laughs> almost sitting here phenomenal from from los angeles and ultimately ending up here in texas there's a place on uh, oh, Santa Monica Boulevard and I can't remember the cross street uh, in downtown Hollywood it's called SIR it's for studio instrument rentals uh, they have a bulletin board up there just standing there looking at the board doing what are you looking for band what are you looking for singer oh well let's go so we left and that's where that started uh, what's next for for Rick Sanford can is there <laughs> new songs can we expect any new music or I, I don't really know what to tell you. I've been talking to the guys in legs. Uh, Mike Prince is uh, talking about the fact that we never really had a final album and was talking about maybe we should try to do a final album. I'm not second to I don't know. So is are you telling me that there's a possibility? There is a possibility. We've album. been talking about it. Am I pointing enough to this thing now? <laughs> uh, there, there's a possible. Like I said, uh, I've I've actually talked to um, T Bone, who has moved from K Zep and gone to the X now. What's the other DJ that was on K Zep? Oh, Brian. Brian, Brian Candle, Candle, BK. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I put that out there to go. Well, what do you guys think? Because you know, so I asked them. You know, what would you guys think about us doing another album? And everybody was very positive about it. So. I don't know. It's there safe is a possibility to say that there's throngs of fans uh, sure. in San Antonio and across the country that are probably clamoring for another Legs Diamond album. And also, uh, we've got Rick Sanford performing on studio sessions. Is that right? I don't know. Are we? Not today. Not today. Thank you so much, Neil, well, Rick. Okay, pleasure and honor. You Thank guys. you so much. Like a sunny afternoon